course, the big news in the New York sports world is the Mets trading Frankie Rodriguez in cash to the Brewers for two minor leaguers to be named later. Let's head live to City Field to get the inside scoop from the man who made the deal. Mets general manager Sandy Alderson, nice enough to give us some time. And Sandy, you explained on a conference call today that you thought there was a better deal to be had earlier in July than closer to the deadline, which seems different than what we hear a lot of times in other cases. Why was it this way this time? Well, I think that uh, as time goes on, uh, just prior to the deadline, more and more players come into the market simply because as you get further along in the season, uh, more and more teams decide that they're no longer competitive and become sellers rather than buyers. So uh, you can end up with more players uh, in the market competing with your own players. Um, and we felt in K-Rod's case, uh, largely because of his current 2011 salary, that uh, we were better off um, making a deal early than late and not having to compete with some of the other players that might come into the market. It wasn't about, about uh, you know, his ability. It was really about um, you know, what clubs might be willing to give up uh, monetarily as well as uh, in player talent. And we just felt we were better off in the early market rather than waiting. There was a lot of speculation that when Scott Boris took over as his agent, it was going to sort of mess things up for you. Was there any conscious effort on your part? Boris is involved. This could get messier. Let me get rid of this guy as soon as I can. You know, I think, Jonas, anytime uh, there's a change in the circumstances, and in this case, a change of agents, it creates a little bit of uncertainty. But... Uh, uh, I would not say that the fact that Scott Boris got involved is something that uh, uh, you know necessarily accelerated this. We felt that our best market was going to be early. Um, we thought that the clubs that uh, might have an interest in Frankie might be diverted to some other uh, possible players later on. So that was really the major factor. But anytime there's a change of agent or some other set of circumstances, you know you have to kind of rethink where you are. But uh, it really did did not have anything to do with. Uh, Scott himself. Sandy, I, I think everybody realizes with that $17.5 million option, possibility of that vesting, this is no question the best move long term. But short term, you have removed your best reliever and you've taken him out of your bullpen. How much do you feel you set the team back just for this season? Well, I think there's, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's no question that Frankie uh, pitched well for us this season. Uh, obviously, a, a proven closer, somebody who's done it for many years. Uh, we do feel that we have um, some young players, uh, Pedro Beato, uh, Bobby Parnell, who could move into that role. We have uh, uh, Isringhausen, who has done it before. Uh, so we don't feel that we've created a major hole, but there's no question it's, it's, it, you know, it's, a, it's a disruption within the bullpen. Uh, at the same time, I think most of our players anticipated this move. Uh, so from a psychological standpoint, I don't think it's going to be... Um, a critical change. It's not a surprise. Um, one of the nice things about the break is everybody's got a couple of days to get comfortable with it. Uh, we have a workout tomorrow, but uh, don't play until Friday. Um, you know, I think that this is this is uh, certainly going to require us to 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 uh, restructure the bullpen, and I think in that sense uh, it creates a little bit of a setback for us. But I, I do think it's something that was anticipated. I think the players will make those adjustments. Uh, I'm confident Terry and Dan Worthen, the pitching coach, that uh, will be able to make uh, those changes. So it does have some impact on us this year, but I don't believe it, uh, it's going to have a material impact on us. But, uh, you know, time will tell. All right. Now, everybody now, their focus turns to Carlos Beltran. And everybody, a lot of people are assuming Yudel K-Rod Beltran is next. I, I mean, is this the beginning of saying that you are sellers, or is this a whole different situation? Well, I'd like to think that, uh, um, you know, the Rodriguez situation was, was, was a separate one and, and uh, that anything related to other players would not be simply, you know, a chain reaction. Um, again, you know, in Frankie's case, um, we were looking for, uh, you know, a variety of things this year, but certainly next year came into play. You know, Carlos is a very different situation. Um, and uh, he's been very critical to our success, I think, so far this year to the extent we've had it. Um, he's been great, uh, healthy, as you know, and performing, made the all-star team. Um, 
that's going to be a very separate decision, and I think you know will depend at least to some extent on how we play over the next uh, ten days, two weeks. Um, there has been a lot of interest expressed in him. Um, you know, one of my jobs, as I've said earlier, is to kind of balance the long term with the short term, and uh, this will be another one of those situations where we'll have to make that decision, but uh, probably won't have to make it immediately. At least we've got, uh, you know, a period of, of uh, a couple of weeks, perhaps, to, to make that decision. Just curious, has Brian Wilson himself called you, or is he just campaigning during the All-Star <laughs> game? Uh, I think that campaigning was limited to uh, Phoenix, uh, and uh, maybe he got spe some special exemption from the tampering rule. I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> no, there hasn't been any call to me. <laughs> All right, now you were very cagey in answering this question on the conference call, as a lot of people want to link you removing yourself or getting out from under that $17.5 million vesting option, it would clear up space to resign. Jose Reyes, you, you really didn't answer on the conference call. I figured I'd take another shot here. Does it free up some okay. money for you to do that? Well, I think it frees up. You know, I think it frees up money uh, to do a number of things. And um, obviously, Jose is is uh, you know that situation is of primary importance to us. Uh, I think the flexibility that provides uh, allows us to deal with Jose's situation somewhat differently today than we would have been able to yesterday. Uh, but I think it also gives us flexibility across the payroll in, in allocating our resources, um, you know, the way we think it's, it's uh, more balanced and appropriate. So, you know, the short answer is, yeah, it helps us in Jose's case. I don't think there's any question about that. But more generally, I think it helps us in all cases to try and put the best possible team we can on the field. Sandy, we appreciate you giving us a few minutes on what I know is a busy day. Please come back on the show in the future. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, Mets General Manager Sandy Alderson.